guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I am so excited to have all of you here today for this clean with me. We are gonna be tackling a bunch of spaces that need some love. We are gonna get some cleaning done today. We are gonna be doing some organizing, some decluttering, and cleaning some very much neglected spaces like behind the couch, under the couch, and underneath the ottoman. And we are going to be reorganizing and decluttering the junk drawer. Does anybody else have a junk drawer or is it just us? We are gonna get all of that done today and I hope that this video gives you a ton of cleaning motivation. I am so excited for today's video, so let's get to cleaning and getting it done. We are gonna start everything downstairs in the living room and we are gonna work on organizing all of the toys and stuff that are left out. We are gonna put all of the Wii games back does anybody still play the Nintendo Wii? My son has been super into it and we have gotten a bunch of new games for him. So I'm going to put everything away that my two year old had gotten out during our distance learning, our first day of distance learning. Who else is doing distance learning? Let me know down in the comments down below how that is going for you. It's been pretty interesting over here. I have a two year old who wants to be with her big brother all of the time. So it's been kind of hard to keep her out of the room when my son is working on the computer. But other than that, it's going pretty well. So we're gonna clean up the living room, clean up her mess from distance learning time and put all of these Wii games back. We're also going to reorganize the little cabinet we have there where the games go, restock all of her diapers and get that all cleaned up. And I'm going to be using a new cleaning product today that I am super, super excited about. people raving about this Mr. Clean Clean Freak deep cleaning spray and I totally get the hype because this stuff is awesome. I really love it. It's super easy. Spray it on the surface, wipe it off with a damp or a dry cloth or a paper towel and you're done. And it works great. What I really loved about it was the lemon scent and the fact that when you spray it, it has a really long spray time, like a long stream that doesn't ever end. So this stuff is awesome. If you see it at your local store, pick it up, try it out. They have a couple of scents. I think they have a lavender one as well, but I really just loved this lemon one. It was a nice fresh scent and it smelled really clean. So we are gonna be using this a ton today in this video. And I'm just gonna be using this to wipe everything down, get all of the dust and the dog hair off of the surfaces here. And I'm also going to be using it on my ottoman today. This ottoman is pleather, it cleans up super easy, and it's just old in general, so I feel totally fine using this cleaning product on it, and I'm not worried about ruining the ottoman because, let's just be real here, it's old, and the kids have done a very good job of doing so themselves. I am also going to be using this on a microfiber cloth to dust all of the shutters and get those all nice and clean. There are fingerprints on them. There's some random substances on them that I do not know what they are. So we are gonna use this Mr. Clean spray and get those all wiped down. My kids love to come to this window and watch the garbage truck when it comes in the mornings on garbage day. So there's fingerprints all over because they'll get up from breakfast and run over there and open up the shutter so that they can see the garbage truck. So we're gonna get those all cleaned off. And I'm also going to clean inside the window sills on the other window over here because I never do it because it requires you to pull out the couch to open up the shutters. Oh my goodness, were these dusty? They were so disgusting. I need to do this more often, clean behind the couch more often. Luckily behind the couch wasn't super dusty, but these windowsills, oh, so much dog hair and dust in there. And that's not even dog hair from our dog. Our dog has black hair, not white hair. So this must have been from the previous owner. That is how long it has been since they have been cleaned. We are gonna clean up behind the couch. Luckily it's not a total disaster because we have to get there 
quite often to look for the Amazon Fire Stick remote that makes it always loose. So we're gonna vacuum up behind here and get this all cleaned up, get any trash cleaned up that needs to be cleaned up, and put the couch back and work on cleaning under the couch and cleaning under the ottoman. As you can see, there's quite a bit of stuff underneath the couch. So I'm gonna use the Swiffer today to try to get everything out from underneath the couch. And it was like playing a weird <laughs> hockey, trying to shoot everything out from underneath the couch with the Swiffer. It actually worked really well, but there are a bunch of toys under there. There are pieces to the baby gates that we took down. There was just so much random stuff. I found dishes under there, lids for all the kids' cups, and super, super old applesauce pouches. Luckily, we got those out because they were looking pretty ripe. I also found some very, very old dried up strawberries. They looked like freeze dried strawberries because they had been under there for so long and it is so dry here in Las Vegas. They just completely dried out instead of getting moldy. So we're going to clean everything up and then we are going to vacuum it all up and get it all nice and clean down here. How often do you clean under your couch or clean under your furniture in your living room when you have kids? Like, should I be doing this more? I feel like maybe I should be doing this more to try to eliminate all the toys, crumbs, and all the stuff that I found underneath there today. I'm gonna be using my Shark Rocket vacuum a bunch today. This is what I use to vacuum for the most part. I really, really love this vacuum and I speak so highly of it all the time. I actually just got a comment on one of my videos. It popped up on my watch as I'm doing this voiceover that Target has the Shark Rocket vacuum on sale this week. So run, check it out, go get you one because you guys will love it. If you need a vacuum, this is my number one recommendation for a vacuum. It is usually under $200. It works really, really well, and I just love it so much. I am not sponsored by Shark in any way, shape, or form, but I highly, highly recommend this vacuum. Another product that I live for is this Fullex Instant Carpet Spot Remover. This stuff is amazing. If you have kids or pets, or if you are just somebody who is prone to getting stains on stuff, or you have white, anything white furniture white rugs towels i don't even know just get this you will not regret it it is the best stain remover i have ever used and i have used plenty of them this stuff works great you spray it on and then you just agitate it a little bit with your finger or your fingernail or something else if you don't want to use your finger and then you just blot it off it works so well. I have used it on red wax that was left on my carpet. I have used it on chocolate that was left on this white part of the rug, and it gets out all of the stains. I am just absolutely amazed by it. I will have it linked down below in my description box, as well as the vacuum with the Target link that I was just talking about. I don't know how long the Target vacuum or the vacuum is going to be on sale at Target, but go and check it out if you are in need of a vacuum. I bought mine at Target when it was on sale, and I think I bought it for about $100 on Black Friday. I don't know if it's that cheap right now, but it'll be linked down below if you are in need of a vacuum, as well as this full X spray. Also just wanted to take a moment to thank you all for your feedback on the little end table that I had purchased for the living room. I decided that while it was super pretty and I really, really loved the end table, it's not gonna work in our living room. So I'm gonna try it in other spaces of our home. 
And I also wanted to thank all of you who gave me help with my orchid dilemma. Thank you so much. I had some really great suggestions and I am so thankful for all of you. You always come to my rescue when I need help with something. So thank you very much. I appreciate all of your suggestions and all of your help with the orchid. I did buy orchid food and I'm going to try everything that you guys suggested to me to try to keep this little orchid baby alive. Now we are gonna move on to the kitchen. We have some straightening up to do in the kitchen. The sink needs to be clean and counters need to be wiped down. But the biggest thing that we are going to be doing in the kitchen today is organizing the junk drawer, decluttering it because it is a hot mess. This is like my dirty little secret. I keep this from you guys in every video. I never show it when I open it because it is such a disaster. I don't even know how we find anything in here because the only thing that you can really see are my daughter's headphones. It's just a jumbled mess. There is pretty much every sort of thing in here. So I'm going to be using these bins that I got from the Dollar Tree. I spent a total of $4 on these. And this is what we're going to use to organize today. And then we are going to vacuum it all out, wipe it all out and just get rid of a lot of stuff that does not even belong in here. Everything is tangled all together. My glasses are in here and completely scratched now. There are sight word flashcards, batteries, and there are old stick on nails in here. And it's so gross, this drawer is just a hot mess. So we're taking care of that today. First thing that I'm going to do is empty everything out of the drawer so that I can actually clean the drawer itself by vacuuming it and wiping it down with that Mr. Clean Deep Clean Spray. I found baby socks in here. I found Jenga pieces, old cell phones. There's just everything in here. There's wine corks, you name it, it's in here. So if this is the end now, baby, know that I gave him my all. I believe in us. I won't give up on you. I will I decided with those longer bins that I was going to use those for pencils, pens, and all that kind of stuff. Anything that was like a longer item. So I have a bunch of Sharpies in there, pencils in there, pens in there. And then I'm also going to use these smaller bins to organize anything that is on the smaller side. And I'm also putting some of our flashlights and stuff that we don't necessarily use all the time behind all of those bins just so that the kids can't really get to them unless they pull the drawer out all the way. So I'm just going to organize the smaller items into the smaller little squares like batteries and stuff like that that I found in the drawer. Tape is going to go in one. And then I'm also going to have a little bin for some chargers or charging blocks for the iPhone chargers. And we are just gonna go through and organize all of the stuff that way. Some say I don't 
biggest feat for me today when organizing this drawer and decluttering it was detangling all of the headphones and cables and everything that was just jammed in there. And that was all my doing. My husband is very organized and I'm just kind of one of those people that when it just needs to get put away really quick, I just throw it in there. So I'm trying to work on that and I'm going to just wrap all of the headphones up tightly and then I'm gonna put a rubber band around them so that they're not opening up and getting detangled again. And then I'm also going to move all of these things upstairs to my desk drawer where I have a bunch of other electronic stuff so that they're not downstairs anymore getting all tangled, the kids can't get to them. And this was what was left behind after putting all of the stuff in the drawer that belonged in the drawer. There's a dog collar that had been missing. I found old thank you cards that I thought that I had sent out Apparently I didn't, and I am so sorry for that. If you are watching this video and you never got a thank you card, that is why they got shoved in the back of the drawer and then slipped underneath the drawer. I thought I had sent them out. I have no brain, I guess. But we're gonna take care of this stuff. We're gonna throw away stuff that needs to be thrown away, and then we are gonna wipe down the countertop using that Mr. Clean Deep Clean Spray because this stuff is life. For anybody with kids or pets and you're thinking about painting, use a satin paint or even a semi-gloss paint if you don't mind the sheen because it cleans up so easy. We used to have eggshell paint in the kitchen and I could never get it clean, especially if something splattered on there. So my life hack for you, if you are thinking about painting and you have younger kids or any kids or any animals, Try to go with a satin or a semi-gloss paint so that you can wipe down your walls super easy, especially if you are painting your kitchen. Today we are gonna clean another thing that I literally never clean. This thing hasn't been cleaned since we installed our sink back in December. So if you are like me, here is a reminder to pull it out and clean it because yuck, look at that. It is absolutely disgusting. I don't know what's in there. I see some coffee grounds, but other than that, I could not tell you what any of these substances are. So we are gonna go in there with some bleach. Yes, we are gonna be using bleach. We're gonna pour bleach in there and we are gonna clean it all up and rinse it all down really, really well. I'm gonna be using bleach on this rubber thing because that's, I just feel like it needs it because look at all of that. It is so gross. I'm wearing gloves to clean it and scrub it and wipe it all down. And then we're gonna very thoroughly rinse everything because I need to clean the sink and I'm gonna be using a different cleaning product and I'm gonna try my very, very best not to mix cleaning products right now. So we're gonna scrub this baby, put it back and get the sink all nice and clean. So 
favorite cleaner to use for a stainless steel sink is a Sparkeeper's Friends Soft Cleanser. You can use it on a bunch of other stuff though. You can use it on porcelain, stainless steel, ceramic, tile, and copper. I'm sure you can use it on some other stuff too, but this works great for the stainless steel sink. So if you have one of those, I highly recommend it. But I would not use something that is very rough when scrubbing it and cleaning it down because you will be scratching your sink. I am using a cloth right now that I use to clean with and I'm just wiping it around on the sink. I am scrubbing it, but not with something that is a harsh scrubber. And we're just gonna get everything clean, rinse it down really well because if you do not rinse it down really well, you will have white residue. As you can see on the top of the sink, that is what your sink will look like if it's not rinsed down enough. If you are wondering why I have a dirty spin bike in my dining area, it is because we are in the middle of a very hot heat wave. If you are in California, Nevada, or Arizona, you know what I'm talking about. It is hot right now, so I had to move my spin bike into the dining area so that I would not melt in the garage. So I'm just going to clean it up using that Mr. Clean Deep Clean Spray. It worked so well. This bike is so dirty from all of the projects that I do in the garage where it usually is. There's paint overspray on it. There's dust on it from standing and doing woodwork. So we're going to get this baby all cleaned up so that she can live inside the house while it is still so hot out. And now we are going to move back into the living room and get the living room all cleaned up, tackle some laundry, and then straighten up the couch with my little helpers running around and supervising, making sure that I am doing everything properly. I think about all the years I made up and I think I'm running out of time. have gotten a ton of cleaning motivation from this video. I'm so happy to have you all here. Please stick around and subscribe if you haven't already done so for cleaning motivation on my channel every single week. I do have some home makeover videos coming out in the next few weeks. So be on the lookout for those. I am working on my master bathroom right now. My son's bedroom is almost done. And I do have some more decluttering projects like my daughter's room, which is almost as hot mess as this drawer was. So be on the lookout for that. Hit the subscribe button and make sure your notifications are turned on. If you loved this video or liked it even a little bit, give it a huge thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below introducing yourself if you are new here. And if you are in need of a new vacuum, check out the Shark Vacuum. The Target link will be linked down below as well as an Amazon link if you do not want to buy it from Target. It. You'll love it. I promise you will never regret this purchase. Thank you guys again for being here. Have a super amazing day. Stay safe, stay well, and stay cool if you are in California, Nevada, or Arizona, you guys. Thank you. If you need more cleaning motivation, check out a video linked up here on this screen or check out the kitchen makeover if you haven't already done so. Bye guys. Catch you in the next one.